guys welcome to the vlog <laughs> it is like nine something in the morning let's look let's look let's see here 9 52 so it's actually not that early just feels that early we got this little doodle bug right here what are you doing this morning having some juice and puff yeah yeah So, uh, I got up this morning, I had packages um, to put out on the front porch, and my husband had to go and sit with his mom while um, his dad ran peaches to the market. So, I asked him last night, I was like, will you put my packages on the porch, if I remember to? So, apparently he didn't remember to, because... I got up just to check. I was just going to check to see if they were still out here. And they were. So. I had to stick them out on the porch. And then I was like, well. I'm up. Journey's asleep. I might as well try to get some work done. Yeah. So I added a few uh, embroidery designs on the So What Pro. And then I decided to start embroidering. So all right, now I'm working on a. First birthday trolls um, onesie. I've got like a million, not a million, but I got a lot of orders. I still haven't done my two giveaway orders and I am so sorry. It's just I have to, it's like, it's kind of like shuffling cards. <laughs> it's like I have to fit them in like when I can um, when I have a break like let's say because the way I do my orders I can only basically try to get at least two embroidered out a day that is just I mean sometimes I can get more but that is usually what time the time I have for is yes because sometimes it's you know I have to embroider out two, but yeah, I still have to make two tutus and two hair bows to go with those. Four. <laughs> oh, Journey learned something new yesterday. She took a long nap. It was almost two hours. It wasn't quite two hours. Almost. But she never takes a nap that long. And usually if she does nap a lot or take a lot of naps and she's been nursing oh my gosh my boobs hurt so bad my nipples hurt she's been nursing a lot so um i guess she's going through like what they call a leap where she's learning something new and yesterday she just learned how to point like after her nap she went to you know and then when she got up she was just like pointing at everything with one finger it's just like um the girls were outside swimming and my husband was holding her, and that's when we first noticed it. And she was just, like, pointing, like, outside. Like, she wanted to go out there and see what was going on. And then she pointed at some other things, and then... Oh, what? Look. Your puffs are there. She's like, Mom, I'm done. Mom, I'm done with this. Get me out. Where's your juice? Did you drop it? No, seriously, folks. Where's your juice? Is it in your chair? <gasps> Look, it's in the chair. Okay. okay. But anyway, so she learned how to point yesterday. And then... Hi. <laughs> Hey guys, so my man man just showed up and picked up my packages and uh, this is what came in the mail today. 
I just thought I'd show it real quick. I did do another thread art order and somebody asked what the website is. I think it's just threadart.com. Um, somebody else asked what is the thread like on there what I order and I believe it's like just polyester thread that's what it says um, mm -hmm. and these are just the single rolls with 1,000 meters of thread on them and they were $1.39 each so I think that's pretty darn cheap and I've been asked like do I like their thread um, yeah I do I do like their thread um, only funny for a little while. That's the funniest. <laughs> enough. <laughs> You're getting her dizzy. <laughs> hey guys, that's it for today's vlog. I'm going to continue it tomorrow. Hey guys, it's tomorrow. We no, are it's today. No, it's tomorrow. We're starting a day off at Dunkin' Donuts. We're trying. Um. Dunkin' Donut fries. What are they called? Donut fries? Yeah. It's like there's cheese inside. It's like... A cheese inside? It's like doughy. Yeah. First stop, five below. Oh, you out of your car seat. Did you like the donut fries? They're okay. They could really use a little something, something extra.
Which fine. Yeah. Money burning a hole in your pocket. <laughs> See, she'll point. Yeah. What did we find at five below? A banana. No, look, feel it. It feels like little balls. Don't put it in your mouth. If I keep a passy in her mouth, she's less likely to put it in her mouth. I can't feel What else did we buy, Jern Jern? Sideburn. I didn't buy Jern Jern some sideburn. Hopefully, I don't have any holes in it. We got holes in these. And I actually thought <clears throat> this would have been a great idea when we were watching fireworks just to blow it up and let her like crawl around in it. But. <gasps> Wonder how tall this is. How tall is it? 10 inches. If I blow this up. Put some toys in it and put her downstairs. She can play inside of this pool. She can't climb over it? Yeah, she can climb over it. You're crazy. Give, a, give a girl a banana and she's it. happy. Yeah, she uh uh, don't put it in your mouth. Don't put, put it, it. no, no. Does it? Uh 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 uh. Wait, go put that in their mouth. Yeah. Mom, did you take it? We are now at Habitat for Humanity. Let's see if I can find a wooden table. Like that. I mean, what's wrong with you? Dirty? I don't care if it's dirty. Yeah. This one's $10, this one's 25 I only want nice and sturdy. Put my... All that's wrong is the wood. Yeah, I don't care. You I mean, could even repaint it if you wanted yeah, to. Yeah, I'm just putting a heat press on it. Or 10 bucks. And look, look, you could store your stuff under there too. Yeah. All the stuff that go with my heat press. That's yeah. a good idea. Well, we'll see if we see anything else. She, she, she won't let me take the bananas back. She's like, no. Oh. Oh. <laughs> stuck. Actually, I kind of like that. I bet your dad would like that chair. Oh, I can get me a nice little chair and stick it in my corner. Ooh, the arms wasn't dirty. Yeah, I just kept the same. But I was looking at that table right there. The second one. The, the crappy one or the really crappy one? The second crappy. It's only $10. I mean, I don't care what it looks like because it's going to have a heat press sitting over at the top of the whole thing. You know what I mean? Yeah, I know, but that might have some ghost wood on there. But yeah. Well, go feel it. It's really stuck. It's really sturdy. Hey, guys. We are home now, and as you see, I bought the table. Um, it was $10, and so I thought it was going to be really great because I can put my heat press on there is very heavy and sturdy so um but i got home i cleaned it up well wiped it all down because it was all dusty and stuff and i decided i think i'm gonna spray paint it so we'll see if i can get some spray paint i don't know what color yet i was thinking honestly i was thinking like a blue but then i was like you know i don't know i don't know and then i realized hello there's a drawer so that's even better. I can put some junk in there. But my idea was I can put like um, my Teflon sheet that, you know, for heat pressing and anything else, you know, just extra storage for more of my junk. <laughs> but yeah, that's that. We got Mr. Any over here. 
eating her favorite peas and carrots, even though she was just smashing them into her tray. Here, you want the rest of them? Oh, yes, please. That seems to be one of her favorites. Peas and carrots. Oh, and then, I'll turn you around. When, uh, we went into Roses. I found this shirt, which it's a shirt, and it was on clearance for five bucks. But the thing that drew me towards to the shirt is that it's like that really soft material. And I was looking at it and I was like, I would just like to use that as my pajamas. And so I found these leggings. Let me put you down. So this is the print. I think it's really pretty. Um, I'm mainly wearing this outfit as like pajamas. <laughs> Cause it's like this really soft material. And there was a shirt I actually liked and I thought if I bought that shirt because it was big and flowy that I might actually wear these leggings out in public. But I won't wear them with like this tightness because it shows all, all my lumps and bumps. But anyway, so I'm using, wearing this as like some day wear pajamas, cozy around the house, right? So yes, mommy. Yes, mommy. Anyway, it is now 326. I'm going to try to work on a shirt and get her situated. So this is my idea. I want to spray paint this. What kind of spray paint do I use? Whatever spray paint. Like, It'll stick to it. Like, I don't want nothing glossy, right? Or... Uh, this is, I was like, I don't, I, I, well at first I thought about going with like a blue or something and then I thought, well, maybe a peach or this is something light. I know it'll get messed up, but it's okay. I'm now downstairs in my craft room. I just feel like I don't ever have time. <laughs> Like, I want to work down here, and I want to get organized, and, but, don't have any time. I mean, I can do things, like when Journey is napping, but I can't come down here and leave her upstairs. And it's just, uh, yeah. Oh, I bought this, like, a while back at Ollie's, and I was going to use it to put, um, appointments and stuff on and I just never had a place to hang it and so I figured I'd stick it down here I don't know what I'll put on it but but I'm trying um like I bought this dress a long time ago I want to put journey's initials on it bought this one a long time ago I want to put journey's initials on it it's just too much too much and it seems weird because it was just like what um, two, three weeks ago, it was so dead. Like, I had, like, I think, like, seven orders. That's when I was doing a t-shirt giveaway, and, you know, I was wanting to work on stuff, because it felt like I didn't have very much stuff to work on. <laughs> but, anyway. Um, I picked up this, which is an LED light. They sell these little things for... Three dollars at the Habitat for Humanity, and it comes with a little power cord. Um, I already bought one. I stuck it up above, underneath our countertop, and it really lightens up that corner. But then it ended up falling down, and then I don't know if I'm gonna leave it there or whatever. But I got this one. I figured, you know, I don't know, I don't know, you know, it's a deal. I wanted it. <laughs> Um, but the table that I picked up today, I figure it's either going to go here in this corner or I'm going to move it over here and run an extension cord to the outlet. There's only um, three outlets in this room. Mainly, um, we couldn't put any outlets on this wall 
or this wall because this is a basement and that was cement on the other side of these walls is cement block so we couldn't run any outlets so um there's one here there's one there and there's one on this wall here so those are the only outlets so that's why the room sorry I'm making you dizzy is kind of set up this way um so hopefully I can get someday I'm hoping I can get organized I mean come on I got crap all over the place <laughs> and um I just really uh, need to um I just really need need time is what I need I told my husband it's like if I could just have like a couple extra hours during the day like when he is home <laughs> Because right now he's with Journey. So that's the time when I can really work on stuff is when he's with Journey. I mean, I try to, you know, get stuff done throughout the day when I can. Like I said before, you have to do it when the opportunity pops up. Like, you know, if she goes down for a nap, try to get some stuff done. If she's eating some lunch, you know, try to... I can't get this off right now with one hand. Try to get stuff done like this um I started way earlier and I'm just getting done with it and it is 10 30 and I'm about to start on another one I actually have three I'm supposed to ship out tomorrow which I thought was only two because I thought it was this one and a trolls so I'm going to work on the trolls right now and I know in the morning we have to run to Walmart again you know, we're just there. And um, I'm going to get paint for that thing. My husband has to pick up some stuff. And I need to find some two t-shirts. So I have a lot. So these are all my orders. Um, I put all of them down. And then right here are my t-shirt and my giveaway. So... These are all like oh, my t-shirt. I don't even know what I'm saying. These are my back to school, my Facebook orders, I should say. There we go. Facebook orders. So my Facebook orders, because they are just samples and there's not actually like a timeline on them. And then my two giveaway, because I don't have a timeline on it, I'm having to fit them in to... Let's say my orders that I have a timeline that I have to get out because the processing time is two weeks. So, um, I think I mentioned this before. It's kind of like shuffling cards. <laughs> like, so I think this 12 month and these, this rainbow dash and this one is due to ship out tomorrow. So I'm only going to be able to get these two probably done tonight. And then, um, hopefully I can work on this one tomorrow afternoon. Hoping 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 and then the next order after that I don't think so that was a Saturday so that one actually okay so the rainbow the one I want the one that I thought was supposed to go out tomorrow it's actually supposed to go out on Saturday Etsy always does that where it puts it on the day ahead like if people ordered on the weekend it's going to um people order like on a Saturday it's going to put it off on the Friday so instead of going to the following Monday it's going to go to Friday if that makes any sense whatsoever but anyway aside from that um yeah so the next order says ships in four days so I'll I'll have a little break um after I get the rainbow but I'm still going to continue to work because I think this person over here already contacted me wanting their order so I'm still going to continue to try to get these, but in between, because there's a four-day break here. I'm not actually going to take that four-day break, but in here I can at least get a couple of these done. Because I try to do two a night, so if I did JoJo, and then this is for a lady my husband works with. So if I get those two done, um, let's say over the weekend, and then maybe Monday... Fall. Well, that would be three days, so I don't know. I don't know, honestly. I need to get to work and shut my mouth. <laughs> but anyway, so hopefully I can 
get something accomplished here. I was going to show this really quick because I had several people ask and just recently had somebody ask again about folding shirts, which it's not, um, honestly, it's not that hard. Let me just try to show it to you since I just did it and I was like, oh, I should show this. But what a reason this thing gets straight. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you want to make sure your shirt is straight. Mm -hmm. And I always like make sure I lint roll because there's always mm -hmm. like shards of threads and, you know, if there were, would happen to be a miscellaneous cat hair, um, you know, you want to make sure you don't have, if you have pets, you want to make sure you don't have any cat hair or any lint, especially like little thread shards. Anyway, so I fold in. Um, I usually go in just a little bit more on the bottom than on the top. I mean, it's not much, but that way the, the bottom is a little bit smaller. And then if you have sleeves or whatever, you can go ahead and fold them down. And then do this side. Again, I just kind of pull it just like, I don't know how else to say it. I just pull it in a little bit. And then you can fold this arm down. It's hard to do one-handed. Um, so basically you're like this, right? And then I take this up to see the name there. I want to go below the name. So now see how this is smaller than this part of the shirt. And then you just fold this side down and it turns out like a square. <laughs> Um, onesies are pretty much the same way. You just have to fold them, the bottoms up. So that's it. Nothing fancy. I know some people like to, I was reading, it was like a thread somewhere. And it was saying how um, people use like cardboard pieces. Like they get a piece of cardboard and then they use that. But I don't know. This works just as good. <laughs> so anyway, that's how we fold shorts and then here. so this side in the bottom just a little bit more tucked in and over so it's a little bit narrower narrower at the bottom and then fold in the arms and then if it was a long sleeve you can do the same thing just fold in your arms and then this goes up just above the name and then this goes down there you go okay now it is all that putting the back on that and cutting all these threads it took me that long finish this one down here I did use my old embroidery machine but I can hear journey upstairs screaming bloody murder so I'm not going to be able to finish the tutu or any of that. Plus, it's almost midnight. So, anyway, I'm going to end the vlog right here. Uh, thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!